And one of the things that I learned from Joseph Campbell was you don't know the doors that will be open to you, the personalities that will be op- that you will meet, that all of a sudden things that you never anticipated are now open to you. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the show today. We drop great content each and every week, and we want to make sure that you guys get notified. And in order to do that, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you've gotten a lot of value out of this, make sure you give us a like and share our videos with your friends. Well, think about this. How many people in your life actually give you the opportunity to fully explain yourself? Just, th- just think about that. How many, how many times does that happen in a day, in a week, or a month? It's rare. It's rare. Uh, you know, if, if, if I were sitting down with, with Johnny, this, this might take three days, right? Because, you know, you think about all his experiences and, and, and things that he's done, the people he's known, venues where he's been at, AJ. You know, we would we would have to explore a lot of a, a lot of territory. But how many people take the time to say, you know, give give me the the, the full thrust of, of 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 everything you got? Most people don't do that. They, they no, you're wrong. <laughs> they they just they just well, they just cut you off. <laughs> most people haven't even done it with themselves. You know, we, we recommend a self-authoring program for all of our students to really understand oh, like who they are at a yeah. deeper level. And, you know, many of us have never really thought about those turning points in our mm. lives and those experiences and those memories that we attach so much meaning to, to really unpack and understand where that meaning comes from. You know, and especially in today's culture, we're living for the future. <laughs> It's just like, what's the next snapshot? What's the next opportunity? What's the next next experience? And we haven't really taken enough time to collect our thoughts around, okay, well, what was that turning point in high school that got me off of medicine and got me more interested in communication? And right. what truly happened in that cancer lab that made me decide that I didn't want to do this anymore? Right. And it's remarkable to us how many of our clients, when they go through that journey, realize that there's so much more to their personality, there's so much more to be expressed, and they can connect and relate to others in a deeper way, all because they understand themselves more. I, I, I like that. I, the, the, the con- that concept that, that you guys teach of like a, do a self journal. Why did you make those decisions? You know, it, it would be interesting. Even in my own life, I'm, th- I'm thinking, what if somebody had come to me and say, why did you leave South Florida? Why did you decide to go in the bureau? Why did you decide to, 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 to start writing? Now, what's interesting about that is we can turn that inward, but as you guys teach in your classes, what if you turned that outward and had your executives say, you know, tell me, why did you decide to go that route? It, there's just, I think there's a, you're onto something that's very powerful, is the why of, of, of our humanity. Well, it certainly goes to something we started this with, which was you were, I um, can't remember which context it was, but we were discussing of, of finding out who you are, that, that self-mastery journey. Right. And that can't start out with you being the best or a complete person that starts out with you admitting that you have, you don't know shit. And there's a, there's a, a, a lot to do here. And I'm, I'm going to go start making this, taking those steps to start becoming complete, or at least getting as close to that as I possibly can on this journey. I mean, what I love about it, what self-development as a whole is yeah. the minute you decide I'm interested and you start gaining little pieces and implement them in your life, your life changes. The, your direction changes. Your trajectory changes. The opportunities that present themselves change. And it's all from the little things that you add, the little skills, the, 
the acknowledgement of where you are, some self-awareness to who you are as a person. I even mentioned earlier of the way I like to learn. I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> by, and by, even, by going even in every direction. Learning it. Right? Still learning and it the even, hard way. Yeah, and even when it was presented to me, I was like, well, I don't want to learn that way. That, that sounds like a, a giant yeah. mess. It's like, we'll try it the other way. It's like, well, this is even worse. It's like, and I had to, to accept that. It was like, what? Well, well, that was, didn't make me happy. I was like, well, everything's going to be frustrating every time I try to learn something new. Oh, great. But, the, but also coming to accept that that frustration is only an indication that I'm moving in the right direction. We drop great content each and every week, and we want to make sure that you guys get notified. And in order to do that, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you've gotten a lot of value out of this, make sure you give us a like and share our videos with your friends. I'm, 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 I have this visual of you being in the middle of a court and everybody's throwing a ball at you and, and, uh, and <laughs> eventually one of them is going to stick. <laughs> I, I, I think you're talking exactly about, in the book I referred to um, Joseph Campbell, who yes. the great cosmo yes. uh, a, a, um uh, you know, the mythologist. And he talks about, uh, and, you know, and he said it in, in the terms of the 1970s and 80s. And he said, you know, find your own bliss. And people th made fun of that and said, oh, what? You know, I'm going to sit in a lounge chair and my bliss is going to come to me. No, <laughs> no. And it's exactly what you're talking about, Johnny. It's you go out and you script what that future is going to be. You go out and you seek and find. And sometimes it's like that crazy ball thing where you've got to do it your own way. You're not going to do it the university way. You're not going to do it the coach's way. You're not going to do it your father's way or your mother's way. But you go out and one of the things that I learned from Joseph Campbell was you don't know the doors that will be open to you the personalities that will be that you will meet that all of a sudden things that you never anticipated are now open to you and in my own life i can tell you of just incredible amount you know i we grew up i mean we were poor in in, in miami we were my parents were were working for tips that sometimes were 15 cents, 27 cents, uh, th things like that, who never anticipated that I would be, you know, giving a presentation where, you know, the, the former Supreme Allied Commander of NATO would be there or uh, a president of a bank or, or anything like that, right? You know, or I would meet Paul Ekman or, or, or you know, the, all these dignitaries. But Joseph Campbell was right when we make that effort, whether we call it the universe or happenstance or whatever, things just open up. Look at how many people you've had on your show. Could you have imagined that when you were in high school? Never in a million years. Uh, you know, no. maybe, you th maybe you thought about it. Maybe it was in the back of your mind, but those things didn't begin to happen until you started moving in that direction. When you started to claw to build your future, that's when those things started to happen. Now, many in our audience are at that point of clawing and starting to build their own future. And yeah. Not only do we love your curiosity and all of your books, but you've been through so much training and sought mentorship yourself. Mm. What's that piece of advice you wish you had starting out in your career? Or maybe you were fortunate enough to have it early in your career. I, I think if, if I had to summarize it into to something really compact, it is feed my curiosity and, and don't stop. I could have easily stopped with a baccalaureate degree. I could have stopped with a master's degree. I could have stopped with 10 books, 12 books. But you know what? It didn't. It hasn't hurt me to read 5,000 books. It does. It hasn't impacted. It hasn't debilitated me in, in in any way. It has not hurt me in any way to ask people, "How do you do that? 
or how did you achieve that or what was your you know what did you think about when you decided to get into that i genuinely want to know from others what they know and i see nothing wrong with with doing that i think the biggest problem we see in society today is people who say well i've i've achieved i need to learn nothing more and um, and that's rather unfortunate mm.